Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 20 career mode here today on the channel. We're back on our Borussia Dortmund rebuild series. Guys, if you still are enjoying it, want to support the series and the channel, the best thing you guys can do is to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here with notifications on, let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series thus far. In today's match, coming up, we have the UEFA Champions League final drawn against, who would have thought, Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. Both of Jurgen's former sides will be battling it out on the European stage. So, if you like the sound of that, support the video by leaving a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel a bunch. So, through our Borussia Dortmund series... We have won the Bundesliga. Bayern finished in second. Hoffenheim in third. And RB Leipzig in fourth. Pretty interesting league campaign. We've won the German Super Cup at the start of the season. And the DFB Pokal. We have a chance here today to win the treble of German football. But technically, it's a quadruple. The quadruple is on, boys. Hopefully, we can push through and do it. However, we are facing the Scousers, who have had crazy, crazy success on the European stage. You can never forget Istanbul. And, uh, of course, Jurgen Klopp losing uh, two previous Champions League finals with Dortmund. So, I'm sure it's going to mean a lot. So let's have a look at how this Liverpool squad has evolved over the year. So, they've got Allison in goal, still 90 rated. Trent Alexander, they've got Kim Pembe from PSG, Van Dijk. That's a hell of a partnership there. Fullbacks are the same. Vinaldum. they're not playing Henderson in midfield. I'm worried about that, Mr. Vanilla. But, uh, let's uh, push in there. Hazard, Haaland, back to Hazard, oh here we go, he's quicker than Trent Alexander-Arnold, it's Hazard, oh get in son, it's Torgan Hazard, the better Hazard of the two in my opinion, what technical ability to push through and burn past Trent Alexander-Arnold, and a finish to top it off as well, so we are playing with our stock standard starting 11, Dogan Hazard on the left, Erling Haaland up top uh, on the right hand side. We have of course Asane in the midfield, Royce, Witzel and Brandt. Schultz is back from his injury, unfortunately we've had to bench Rafael Guerrero. And uh, on the right hand side Hakimi's back in the defensive line we have Berkey and uh, Holmes. Brandt over the top, oh Haaland beats two. Oh, that was eerily similar to the goal he scored. Again, oh my god, against Liverpool Sane there hitting the post. Because that's what really impressed him. Uh, really impressed Dortmund. It was those balls, like, even though he didn't score, beating and getting over the top of Van Dijk. We've got to push and get that. Oh, Haaland flicks to Royce. It's Marco Royce! Yes! If I have to have anyone go one-on-one, -on -one, through on goal, it's got to be Marco Royce. This man is Mr. Clutch, and he's made it 2-0 there just before the 27th, and he's, without a shadow of a doubt, put this game set and match. Pretty snatch and grab, very minimal number of chances Liverpool have given us, and we've capitalised two for two. Marco Royce scores his fifth goal of the UEFA Champions League campaign. A magnificent goal. Mwah. Liverpool looking to bring something back. They've come back from worse. Mo Salah finds Kieta. Jurgen Klopp furious on the line as some of these players were brought in under his managerial reign. Haaland there. Hazard. Trying to find Royce. Turns his man with a cheeky little flick. Haaland does a piece of skill move. And Royce is away. Come on, please. Marco Sane. Oh, I, tried. I should have gone all the way. I might have scored. I tried to be unselfish. A slow day at the office for Sadio Mane. 39 minutes. Oh, he's just being isolated. We're strangle holding the midfield. Kieta comes in. Firmino from range. Kieta hits the post. And unfortunately, Firmino doesn't get the follow-up. 
Mane on the left-hand side. Sane tracking back. Sane with the high-octane press, just closing down the enemy opposition. Look at him trying to go through there. Hakimi has to come in and help out. Berkey, you've got to be grabbing those. I'm surprised. I'm a little bit disappointed that he's gone off his leg. But Schultz has cleaned up Mane there. That's what I like to see, putting Bonnie's collateral on the line. Keita facing one of his Bundesliga rivals, the former uh, Leipzig man. Berkey comes out with a punch. I don't like these punches, Berkey. What the fuck you doing? <gasps> Holland. He's beaten Kimpembe. Oh, that's a, that's a handball. <gasps> How's he got that away there? Sane. Sane, Royce. Oh, Kimpembe's held out well there. For the first two opportunities, the defense has been a bit of a shamble. But they are trying to get back some defensive stability. Kim Pembe's kept them in there. And Robertson. Andy Robertson has booted that one all the way up to bloody Scotland. Uh, it's time to make some substitutions here now. We've got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Uh, Oya Zabal to run the show. And Leon Bailey. What a season those two have had. Oya Zabal from range! <laughs> yeah. He came as, what, an 82, 83 rated, has gone to 85 now, and throws his fist up to the, su uh, to the sky. Had a very slow start to the Bundesliga campaign. I'm not going to lie. They did actually drop him to the triple threat substitution part of the squad because I just felt like over the course of the season, Thorg and Hazard and Sane were performing better. But Mikkel has scored three in the league campaign, but he's come up there with a the goal. I'm not going to forget that one, Mikel. Henderson has to come on to bring back some English pragmatic structure to the midfield, I guess, because Liverpool are all over the place. And Leon Bailey's gone through here against Van Dijk. Oh, my God. Oh, he nearly got the follow-up there. He was through. He was away. But that's just um, been a youngster. Being inconsistent. He put too much meat on those chops. Fabino now. Valverde. Really? They've signed a couple new additions. This Liverpool squad. Oh, Fabino gets a shot away there. Yeah, they sound Real Madrid. The former Galactico Valverde. But Kim Pembe and Van Dyke is like a Liverpool's Liverpool fans' wet dream in defence. To be honest, it's such such a good pairing. Aubameyang now just finding that ball to Leon Bailey. How is Andy Robertson gonna gonna not compete to the German maestro? And it goes wide to the right. Leon Bailey is such a good career mode player. He's so eerily similar to Raheem Sterling. Both of Jamaican blood. Both relatively around about the same size as well. But if you can pick him up earlier off, it's a really good marketplace by Leon Bailey. Such a good career, my player. Signing with my Chelsea career. Hamill's there getting out of the tackle and snuffing out that Liverpool attack. Bailey dropping back, running the show on the right. Somehow finds Marco Royce here. Kimpembe has to track back because Van Dyke is out of position. And it's Oya Zabal to make it 4-0. He's come up clutch. He's shown the fist to the sky once more. It's 4-0. And I'm officially delighted to announce without a shadow of a doubt, we have won the UEFA Champions League final here today with four goals. There's no way they're coming back from this one. And that's it. Man, oh man, guys. I want to thank each and every one of you for the fantastic support uh, for this Dortmund's career series. I genuinely wouldn't be where I am as a YouTuber without your, you guys' support. So uh, I really do thank you from the bottom of my heart. Don't want to get too much sappy shit on. But yeah, I've really enjoyed this Dortmund series. I've had a blast and I've noticed you guys have as well. This squad is just like perfectly tailored to the way I play. I've had some of the best performances I've played. I can't recommend Dortmund enough. If you can... Get that winger crisis under your control. The entire team benefits. Even with some of the horrid injuries and upsets we've had in this series. Losing Berkey to injury and Hummels halfway through and Schultz uh, in the left back position. We've managed to push on and win the quadruple. Which I wasn't entirely sure was going to be possible. My Leicester City squad I thought was going to perform better overall. And we only managed to go and do the double in that series. But we've done the quadruple here today. Marco Royce is absolutely over the moon and um, I'm happy 
that I was able to help out and bring and rebuild Dortmund here today. So let me know if you'd like to see another season in the comments and what other top European side you'd like me to let's play here on the channel. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team or maybe just some games I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link G2A there's some really good prices so even just going looking around to be honest anyway uh, the Patreon Stinger there as well come and join the community on Steam my name is Ben Simpsy stay tuned for more videos on the channel make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day my name is Ben Simpsy goodbye Mares whips it into the box Royce that is just ridiculous with the layup Marco Royce